Best There Is games where we do videos. And let me make it clear that Best There Is is F my shop, but on top of it, we do a lot of other things. Uh, someone was mad the other day. They're like, this isn't a Heroclix video. They put it in the comments. Sorry to that guy. We don't do just Heroclix videos. We, we, we have been we doing bring back the, like Best There Is. Bring Heroclix. back the old stuff. That's what I want. That's what it was good. What was this channel stuff? was good. What was that? I don't Magna? know. Everybody says that on the internet, though. That's like the number one. Make it great again? How we sitting? How lazy is that? I don't give a fuck. Uh, but, you know, we, 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 so we've been doing a lot of magic it. stuff. Just hit I always say more comfortable than you are. I always said we would do Dragon Ball, but I was going to let uh, Ian take the lead on that. But he, he was slow. Um, not slow. <laughs> not slow like that. He just never took it off, and they don't want to focus on it as much. Uh, they don't have much to talk about, maybe, but we always talk. I always talk. Um, me and Declan were like, well, let's do a, a, a talking points on the Batman uh, trailer that just came out during DC fandom. And Lucas came over today helping me build my computer. And he was like, I asked him if he's seen He goes, no, we should do a reaction video. I'm like, yeah, because me and Declan would have done that first of all, but we couldn't. But we, I, we basically, I reacted to it by the time we thought about doing the video. I was well, like, we, we, were, we were real fans. We watched it right when it came out. I'm a perfect example or a perfect candidate because I don't watch this shit. I don't watch any of this stuff. You and your little Daphne. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was trying to wear my hat, but because of how your couch is, I can't lean my head back without going like that. You could recline back. Yeah, but then I look like him. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to check it out. Hopefully this works out great. Me and Declan have seen this week also really talk about it afterwards because um, I learned a let's lot. Let's react to the IGN's trailer breakdown. You could. No, let's just react to it. Uh, you got to let it go first once. All right. That was weird, by the way. Because the duct tape. I know. It was weird to me at first. I don't, I don't like duct tape noises. Did you see of his? They're pretty really gothy boots. It's your two. Yeah. They're like, they're like, full no, but they got like the thick You can't fucking get tactical heels, boots man. that look, Don't look like better than boots. that. Because the rest of his uh, the rest of his costume, I like I like his costume. You have to remember he has a smaller stature. 
He's not like linebacker. But that's that's the that's the white what makes the boots so a little bit more outlandish is how big they are. They're more like, like rockabilly boots. Wear? What would you wear? Like tac eleven combat boots. You can you can. To I me, they look kind of like. I mean, you can find boots that look that look better than. Well, that. you can wear greaves at a certain point. You can so, wear armored plates. Just to give you information, supposedly Riller is the guy that's taking people up, and he's the one narrating a lot through the thing, show them the truth and this and that. Yeah. He's basically, hey, hush, going crazy, and he wants there's something that's going on that's being lied about. People think it's the Court of Owls that's been going on, like there's an underworld that's controlling things. And basically, he wants Batman to whatever. The fat guy you see in couple scenes is Colin Farrell as Penguin. No, that first fat guy. Wait, wait, hold yes, on. Yes. <laughs> no, it's yes, it is. No, it's that's here. Colin Farrell. Oh no, 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 no. That guy's some. That's like the Colin Farrell. He's in the rain. And he's looking. He's got the like big straight. fucking nose. And, uh, that's Colin Farrell. Yeah, like Damn. people were like, "No, it's not. No, it's not." Finally, the makeup company was on Twitter. Was like, "Yes, that's Colin Farrell. We work for these movies, and this movie we worked on him." And. Um, they yes, all. yes, we'll, we'll take your praise. We'll take yes. your praise. Yes. And, it's a very good um, job. We, are gonna, we know you can. So basically, like, a mayor's going to die because a mayor's election's going on. So they think Penguin's going to be the one that's like, I'm going to try to take that role. And then that's how the mob's going to be kind of tied in with, um, you know, what's his name? John Turturro, I think. Very, very sneaky from Mr. Deeds. He's mm-hmm. Falcone, Thal- Thal- I believe. Mm-hmm. He's tied in with the mob. But Riddler, I think, plays no part with them. He's more trying to show them, but he's kind of, like, not there. So if you notice, he's kind of got goggles yeah. taped up, and he's just psycho. So it's more of like, Batman, you need to pay attention, and I'm waking you up. And that's why at the end, if you hear at the trailer, he's still talking, and he's saying, like, he says something like, you'll find out like how you're going to fit in all to this, or whatever, you'll find out, or whatever, and he says it. But, for me, that punching scene outdid the Batman versus Superman. Everyone thought, oh, it looks so Arkham and stuff. I'm sorry, because they're like, he's so brutal in the Arkham, uh, or I'm sorry, the Batman vs. Oh, Rage yeah, how he just goes through all that. For me, that was more brutal than that, because he knocked the guy down, and I get, mad, still, I get mad in the UFC fights when you get someone down, and they still do and they're like, that's a bastard thing to do, but that's just a dude that wants yeah, vengeance. Like, he was, and that was cool, too. Everyone said that, they, who are you? Everyone's like, he's going to say I'm Batman. He's like, I'm vengeance. I was, everyone's like, oh, that's kind of better. But just the fact of do 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 who breaks his arm, yeah. hits him, drops him, and, and then he starts wailing on him. And then the last thing we see is him like kind of standing up from whooping their ass, and that whole gang just looking at him like, oh shit. It's apparently Joker's guys. We don't know. They said they may not make Joker exist in this world. But let's be real, but impossible, impossible yeah. because Joker has to. <laughs> yeah, there's one. What there's do you feel one. about about Edward? Being the main bad guy, though. See, best thing is, I don't think he's the main bad guy. I think we're gonna have another main bad guy. Someone they haven't revealed yet. Yeah. Who? People think it's gonna be Hush. Uh-huh. Because why? They're why is he taping up people's faces that way? Yeah, but he's taping it as Hush's mask. Or but his, he is one aspect. Of Hush. But I don't think spoiler Hush is alert. It. He is one aspect of Hush, correct? Right. right. Also, not gonna, you don't have to do this. Actually. That could also oh. anything with Joker. Literally, could have just been the opening scene. Of him doing that, then he's playing a small part. Then later on, the actual character or the main villain comes out. Because in trailers, they only really show you what like. I think they'll, stay, well, they, I think the they'll stay away from the Joker in this movie. I think that's it, it was smart. Movie. It was smart. Like uh, Nolan did that, where he set up so we don't get the good stuff. So you know, the, one of the best villains right away. I think you should build but up. He ends so. bad, and he ends the same way year one ends. That's the exact same Jim and him. Oh, where he tells him that. Yeah, yeah. That's like the exact end yeah. of your one. Uh, so. But it's like the classic Batman like. I like the hot rod. It looks savage, but I need to see it in a better light. Well, there's been other pictures of it, but it's it's like a, it's a muscle car, but just juiced up with white money. Mm-hmm. To the fact that your engine's coming out of the back, blowing fire. I want to see. I did love the tumbler too, because the tumbler was so different, mm-hmm. but. Uh, I just thought this is kind of practical. This looks like year two Batman, like they said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this dude's doing what he can do. Um, so I for you, Andy, 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 Andy Circus, Circus, is really? Alfred. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love Andy Circus. So um, you, you hear his voice. He's he a, said he's a mocap guy. I mean, he does all the mocaps, dude. For everybody, Gollum, 
Does it for the Planet of the Apes? He does it for like a bunch of Marvel movies. Oh, okay, never mind. He's in Marvel. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, he's Claw. He's claw. He, but he's Claw. He, he's, he's, he's Claw. Yeah, he's Claw in Age of Ultron and Black Panther. He's yeah. actually really great in those movies. Um, and then he gets dead, supposedly. Yeah. I hope he comes back as Yeah. Soon. Why you gotta kill Claw off? Um, Maybe they can come back. They can just make him a steam or something. But he does have a small part in narration. You hear him say, like you're getting quite popular now, or he says something like that, because there's a lot of voiceovers. But I don't think you ever hear Patterson talk besides the vengeance part. No. Which sounds like a good Batman voice. It didn't sound like Bell's. I had. It didn't I sound had, like Batman's, like. I had zero problem with, with uh, the way they did it in Batman vs. Superman. Because that, that's the way Batman would do it. You just get a voice modifier. No, I didn't. I don't think that. Batman always had a calm, like, deep, just brooding. Yeah, but it, it's. It, I don't know. It's that interpretation. I like that it's that. I mean, like Arkham Knights are really good in Batman anime series are probably my ideal Batman voices. Because it's him. <laughs> but it's it's like that's... You mean it's the guy who's Batman for everything. So yeah. Of course it's your ideal Batman. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, if you're basing upon that one dude. It's what is like, his his voice is great. Fucking Batman. everything for Batman's Batman. Batman's always been like, he talks like, you know, he gets that voice. And then uh, I thought he was fine in Batman Begins. It was just Dark Knight. They, uh, no one wanted him to go uh, more intense. And then, yeah, you know, we went too growly. And then I, hate, I hated Atlas because he sounded like Iron Man when he was talking most of the time. It was all computerized. Um, um, I still, like, I still believe that he would that he would have been better uh, Terry McGinnis. You're on a Batman Beyond high. I don't care. I'm going off of this. And just, I think Patterson like was good though. I agree with that, but that's just mainly, that's just mainly because of his stature, as far as his build. When you think Batman, granted, yes, I'm going to say more like any, like any kind of any kind of comic book you see of him, any kind of cartoon you see of him, he is the same size as fucking Superman. Who, which doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. How does that but, not make sense? But at the same time, you do have guys that no, big up in the world. Superman's huge. So, He's not Batman, huge. I mean, this is year two, but he did at this point still train, correct? Mm -hmm. So he should still probably have a little more meat on his I bones. I mean, even in uh, the quarter owls, he wasn't huge. No, but he's always been it's bigger than a normal individual. How is so, he like, supposed to loom over anybody? You know? So, like, in that, you see that he's more slender than he probably has been in probably either the movies. I guarantee you, he probably weighs less than Christian Bale and most definitely less than Ben Affleck. Well, I heard. Well, first of all, I heard there is barely any photo to show this. This all had to be stopped. Granted, right? yes, it is. We are. I was also basing this upon that one image of him straight walking in. Everything else has been head up or him beating the shit out of someone yeah. where you're not actually seeing him stand besides that pandemic, photo right there. The pandemic happened and they only got so much footage yeah. to show and they're going back to filming. They're not done filming at all. So if people start guessing right with clues and stuff, they will definitely rewrite or change the movie. That, yeah, that is kind of the when that, Or when that happens. maybe they'll do it in, a, in towards what people are wanting. People are like, he looked like emo Spider-Man, which I hated that you said already. Well, no, it's just his hair right well, there. And plus, he's got the black around his eyes, but like I said, I like he does the black. I don't know. I'm not, the black around his Batman eyes... does that. I was about to say, the black around his eyes, that's completely But every black. time a Batman takes his mask off, it's gone. It's it weird. is just that picture of it right, right there of him. When his hair is down. His like, hair is down. His scowl. Yeah. Um, it, it's just... But I think we're finally going to get a dark detective movie, which we should all already... Got out of a Batman. Yes, he's already meeting with the cops, which I love. One of the best things in the comics and all that is him meeting up with the cops, talking to Commissioner, and him outside the lines of the law. Yet they well, that's him. all year one sets up too. Is it sets up Commissioner Gordon's rise to Commissioner. So uh, it further extends the fact that this is year well, two. We assume, also I think that, did you that, hear about the GCPD TV show? Yeah, that takes place in year one of this timeline. Right, and they think that that black dude, uh, I forgot his name, the actor, is going to play Gordon in that as well. But, again, I don't think he's a commissioner yet, which I don't like. They always do that. They always make him like not commissioner, and he becomes commissioner. Well, I feel like he... 
They did it in Nolan, they did it in Gotham. I feel like it only makes sense for Batman to work with the cops when Gordon's the commissioner. Right, because yeah. I think even in year one, well, he, look at, he didn't become a commissioner in year one. No, Batman merely fights the cops in the... Look at the video yeah. games, look at the Ark of Nights one, like, video game. Gordon's dead, and he's like... Gordon. Bruce Wayne's dead, Gordon's dead. Bruce Wayne leaves a message saying, Gordon's dead, don't trust JCPD. Well, yeah, but I'm not talking... You're just saying it only makes sense for you guys saying for him to work with Gordon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though, but if Gordon's not commissioner at this point, why would he be working with the cops, is what I'm saying. I feel like in this time, like, at the point this movie takes place, is Gordon's by far the commissioner already. We'll see. So, what is that Gollum uh, trip? Uh, what? They have a Gollum movie, or is that some bullshit? Uh, we'll go ahead and press it up. I'm a stuck lot, for that a movie. Lot, a lot of Thanks for watching, I was just checking out DC's.